And so we begin. Um, yes, big round of applause. We begin. We begin. You are all so very, very welcome back. Um, it's our sixth year. And look how we have grown. I, of, I often think of that very, very first Zero Conference when there was just 200 of us in a beautiful room. But look what we've done together. And I think there is nothing more exciting than just seeing all the conversations, all the collaborations, all the passion and the interest. And now it has grown over these last six years together. So for those of you who have never been at a Zero Conference, you are very welcome for your very first time. And for those of you who are coming back, oh, welcome home. Welcome back to the great conversation for the next three days. This is, without doubt, one of my most favorite things that I do every year. I have had the honor from the very beginning of the Zero Project Conference to be able to emcee and to moderate. And I love this event. I love this event because it's not an event. It's a conversation that goes on all year round. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Caroline Casey. Um, I'm from Ireland. I speak rather fast, so I will try and make sure I keep it slow. Um, but I am a social entrepreneur. I have been incredibly passionate about inclusive business and have set up many organizations and initiatives to hopefully make this a reality. So this year's theme is totally my passion. So with my over-excitement, bear with me. This is personally a very important topic to me because I was uh, an Accenture management consultant when I finally came out of the disability closet and owned my own disability as a registered blind person. I fundamentally believe that no society will ever or can become inclusive if business is not inclusive of the one billion of us who happen to have a disability and our families connected so much to us. This is a really important conversation, and now, never more than ever. I believe we have a zeitgeist opportunity right now in the field of disability and inclusion, when the concept of otherness is really being challenged. We are all human, and human difference is what makes us so magnificent. I am wearing my greenest of green shirts today so that you can all see me and I can see myself. This is in pure respect for the Zero Conference. I tried to find the greenest shirt of all. But just to let you know, I am here if there is anything that I can do to help. But please be aware there are a lot of people around with either a green scarf or the scarf that I'm wearing here today. They're wearing it way more elegantly than me. Please go up and ask them for anything that you should need or want. We are here to help. And for those of you who have never been to our Zero Family Conference, let me just give you a few ground rules. The most important thing that you are going to do over the next three days is to have conversation. It's not even what happens in these sessions that's so important. It's the conversation that you have with somebody by a table, walking along, in a bus, whatever. And I ask you, if there is somebody standing or sitting alone, Please make sure that that's what they want and go up and offer your name if they would like to have a conversation. This is really inclusion at its best. Make sure we include everybody in this conversation together. The second rule is have fun, okay? Let's not take ourselves just too seriously. Let's take our work really seriously, but have fun because it's in fun and commonality that we find that magic that makes things happen. And thirdly, please walk away with at least three really good contacts that you think you can collaborate with or partner with. None of us can do all of this on our own. So please, all of you, at least three, I'm sure many of you will be 30, but this is a networking event like no other. So I just want to, yes, because of clap, we're all about clapping today and all about positivity. Now, I want to... <laughs> In my excitement, I just want to give you a bit of an update on what's happened here with Zero, because the guys who can read this, you're going to see some pretty amazing statistics. And for those of you like me who cannot read this, let me give you this statistics. 
70 countries are represented today. 70 countries. You're amazing for going so far. 70 countries. I'm not allowed to give you the official figure of delegates in case the UN kick us out, but it's well over 500 of us. We have taken over this building in all our glory. We have 168 panelists and speakers. That is a rich, rich source of information and collaboration. We are here to really, really show that we take this seriously. See these pictures? This is some of you, and by the way, I couldn't put 168 of you all on one picture, but it shows you the breadth of diversity that we have of speakers from all different areas, different countries, different specialities, and different passions. Now, we ask you to use your social media, but please, 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 can we ensure that when somebody's speaking that we give them the attention? But do be encouraged to really, really spread the message of what's happening in this room. Because we say what happens in this room is only tiny. We want to get the whole world in this room. Because we're passionate about this. The others don't know what they're missing out on. And we've got to get them to hear it. So please be aware that you can connect through Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. It's really important we let people know what's happening. You have Wi-Fi. You don't need to have an, um, any password. It's WLAN guest. So that's all you need to know. And the hashtag, can we hashtag this? Hashtag ZeroConf17. I want this to trend. Let's make this trend. OK, for those of you who need to know who love technology, I'm terrified of it. But for those of you who love it, it's the Zero app. And even I can use the Zero Conference app, which is saying something. Could you all just get on there and have fun conversation, connections, put up your profile? Let's see what scandal we can create. Now. Enough from me, though I would love to talk to you all day long about how I love this topic. I am so delighted, as always, to welcome and I said to really acknowledge Martin Essel. Martin Essel is the Essel Foundation that made the Zero Project and Conference and all the work happen. This is a man who has led truly when running his businesses, he ensured that inclusion was central to his business success. In establishing the Zero Conference, he has enabled us to convene together. He continues to support this now more than ever. And I just really believe none of us would be here unless you have the commitment and the vision. And I really believe, for me, the dream of Martin Essel. So Martin, please. Uh, thank you, Caroline, for your warm uh, welcome to all of us and uh, a very warm welcome uh, uh, to all of you. But before I give you some words personally, uh, I would like uh, uh, my uh, uh, ambassador uh, next to me, uh, uh, as she is uh, the um, house here, the um, the, the host of, of, of all of us um, uh, to uh, raise some words uh, to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Essel. Uh, the host, if to be, to be completely correct, uh, is the UN. I, uh, Austria is the host of the UN in Vienna. So uh, we have to have this. Uh, uh, clarification because it's up to the UN uh, to uh, give us the, the opportunity to have this conference here. Uh, Mr. Essel, Minister Stöger, uh, uh, Mrs. Bass, Mr. Hachiev, let me just uh, uh, start with uh, two uh, personal remarks. First of all, I also wanted uh, to Congratulate Mr. Essel for what he has achieved. Uh, I could be the witness for the last four years, and I think it's his dedication and his emotion which is the driving force behind the project and also behind the growing uh, success of this conference. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, second, a small remark about the uh, color of green. 
uh, you see I also have the Green Zero Project uh, color, which uh, is very precious uh, to me. And uh, you also uh, see that uh, I had the same uh, on the photo last year. The only difference is I'm a year older and I need glasses this time. <laughs> so This is now the Six Zero Project and uh, I welcome all of you here in the Vienna International Center. It's the fourth that takes place in these offices and also the fourth I have the honor to attend. The Austrian permanent mission to the United Nations in Vienna would like to use this opportunity to extend its sincere thanks to the United Nations office for offering this premises to the Zero Project Conference, which is not taken, has not to be taken as given. The Zero Project and this conference have the aim to bring the provisions of the Convention of the United Nations on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities into action. This convention, although acknowledged by a majority of countries, it has been ratified by more than 160 nations so far, is still lacking behind in its implementation. Austria is known for its long-standing engagement in human rights issues, especially taking into account the rights of vulnerable groups in our society, like children, women, and of course, persons with disabilities. Consequently, Austria has not only ratified all the relevant UN conventions for the protection of and support to these groups, but is also actively advocating for their implementation. The permanent mission of Austria is therefore very pleased to have the opportunity to support this great initiative of the Austrian Essel Foundation, and we are especially proud that we are able to present it as an Austrian project and initiative. In support to the Zero Project, the Austrian permanent missions in New York and in Geneva have organized side events at the Conference of State Parties in New York and at the annual meetings of the Human Rights Council in Geneva. But human rights cannot be achieved by the UN Convention or governments alone. It needs huge efforts and an active involvement of all sectors of civil society and other important stakeholders, like the private industry, to work out viable solutions together. That's where the Zero Project comes in as a much needed mediator and facilitator to break up silo thinking and bring together innovative people, decision makers, and opinion leaders from all parts of society, and to create an inspiring atmosphere where best practices are discussed and shared for the benefit of all of us. This year, the topic of the conference is employment, vocational education, and training, connecting this back to 2013. Like for the conferences before, the Zero Project team did a wonderful job in researching outstanding employment models that work in all parts of the world and also in putting a special focus on the employers. The Business and Employers Day, a conference within the Zero Project conference, which just took place this morning, provided us all with opportunities for networking and an experience exchange for successful solutions. I'm very happy to, to learn that representatives of national and multinational organizations are also joining this conference. Attending the Zero Project Conference now for the fourth time, I'm also in a position to personally witness, as I already hinted, the growing success while the first conference lasting just for one day saw 120 participants, 
this year, 500 participants will participate, and the conference will last almost three days. Today, it has thus definitely become more than just a conference. It has become a catalyst for change, for real improvements, creating bridges and breaking down barriers to make the world a better one, with equal opportunities and free of barriers. This is the spirit that has also grown when people come here to inspire and be inspired, a spirit that is contagious. Let me point out to you that this is not just an everyday conference, because you come to this place to make the difference. Finishing, I would like again to congratulate the organizers for their excellent work in bringing the right people together here to find ways for fulfilling the promises and goals of the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. At the same time, I would like to wish you, for the sake of all of us, every success in creating a more inclusive and accessible society. With these words, I want to wish you an interesting and fruitful conference and a very successful networking. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And Christine, you have been such a supporter of ours from the very beginning. And your wearing of green is just a mark of that. So we're twins today. But so much of the reason this conference is successful is the people around it who bring their heads and their hearts and their continuous commitment. And we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So we really, really appreciate your constant turning up and supporting us. Thank, Thank you, you so very, much. very much. To contribute. Um, So, Mr. Essel, will you tell us what's been happening over the last year? And of, of course, Caroline. Thank you so much uh, for your introduction uh, and your world welcome. Uh, uh, in the very first beginning, uh, let me tell you that Zero Project is not just me or my family, but it's you. It's 3,000 experts from all over the world working for a world without barriers. Thank you so much for uh, your support of all of, uh, of us, uh, just together we can uh, come to our stage where we say we can abolish one barrier to the others uh, to optimize the situation for people with disabilities. Um, the Zero Project, as most of you already uh, know, has simple a single mission, and it is to work for a world without barriers for persons with disabilities. I should like to welcome you all this morning to our sixth Zero Project Conference, the fourth one here in the United Nations headquarters in Vienna. Uh, we have with us uh, today well over 500 participants from some 60, uh, 70 countries. That means from Afghanistan to Vietnam, I should in particular like to welcome some of our distinguished guests. These include uh, Daniela Pass from the UN DISA, Charlotte McLean from the World Bank, Stefan Trömmel from the ILO, and His Highness Prince Miret Rat uh, Zaid Al Hussein from the Higher Council for Foreign Affairs for Persons with Disability in Jordan. Further, our special greetings to the following ministers, like Alejandra uh, kraus valle Secretary of Labor and Social Protection from Chile, Santiago Leon, Minister of Industry and Product Productivity from Ecuador, Alois Stöger, Secretary of Labor, Social and Consumer Protection from Austria. Of course, the representatives from the uh, European Union, like Immaculada Placencia uh, Portrero from the European Com Commission, Helga Stevens, member of the European Parliament Belgium, 
Marek Plura, member of the European uh, Parliament Poland, and a special greeting to uh, his honor, Justice uh, Richard Bernstein, uh, Supreme Court Justice for the state of Michigan in the United States. I would like to say a special welcome to all representatives of those who have received the Zero Project Awards uh, for innovative practices and innovative policies in the past and those who will receiving awards at this year's conference. They are 56 innovative practices and 11 innovative policies. I also should uh, like to welcome to our colleague in spirit like Shira and Jay Ruderman from the Ruderman Family Foundation and representatives from uh, Fondation Anse, Bayt Isia Shapiro, uh, the Stiftung Drachensee, the Corona and the Nippon Foundation as well as the Sabanchi Foundation. And finally, and for the very first time, I should like to extend a very warm welcome to so many distinguished guests from business and the private sector, among whom are Cisco, uh, Microsoft, Barclays, AXA, IBM, Repsol, Valeo, and from Austria, Raiffeisen, Rewe, Obi, Verbund, Brau Union, uh, Pre Miquamed Group, uh, Shire and Glaxus Miss Klein. Can we please give them all a warm welcome? <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, the WHO report reports that out of 7.4 billion people in the world today, 1 billion have disabilities. 80% out of them in the global south, and most of them are not employed. That is a tragedy and an enormous waste of talent. Our goal with everything that we do is supporting to change the mindset of society and to open the hearts of individuals by finding solutions and telling transformative uh, life stories. Stories that demonstrate that everybody has the same rights and opportunities as laid down in the UN CRPD. Last year I was shocked when I learned about a little boy in Burkina Faso who broke his leg playing soccer and who is no longer able to go to school. The result is that he will never have a job and essentially his life is gone. What can we learn from this? I learned that we have to support innovators who have found solutions to include persons with disabilities so that they can have the same opportunities that all the other have. This year, for the very first time, we are revisiting a theme. We are focusing on employment and vocational education and training. We are hoping to change mindsets in society and business together so that the skills of persons with disabilities are both recognized and not allowed to go to waste. This year, we will learn from many innovators about their life stories and their innovative solutions to help people with disabilities to be included in the workforce. I should like to mention just that it means to be employed. It gives not only independence, but also the possibility of directing your own life. And besides, it is good for business because you hire people with the needed ability and good for all, it's good for all co-workers, the whole team. Finally, I should like to say just a few words about our important new identity. I think it is incredibly important as it really tells people uh, what and who we are all uh, and for what we strive. 
our new logo shows a seedling with three leaves bursting upwards and outwards, breaking the circular barrier uh, that imprison it. We believe the new logos show the mission we all share with Zero Project. In destroying that barrier, indeed all the barriers, we are helping that seedling persons with disabilities to burst its bound and grow. So in closing, I should just like to say, enjoy yourself, inspire, and let yourself inspired at the Zero Project Conference 2017 here in Vienna, and then ask you to, uh, I ask you to act as a Zero Project ambassador for our common goal to abol abolish barriers to persons with disabilities and support employment to them. Thank you. Thank you, Martin.